The body of a Meigs County deputy, Robert Leonard, was found in the Tennessee River after a 16-hour search. We have the breakdown of timeline of events that led to the deaths of the deputy and a woman he had detained and was taken to jail. Meigs County deputy Robert R.J. Leonard responded to a domestic incident just before 10 Wednesday night. Leonard then proceeded to transport the then unidentified detainee to the Meigs County jail. We now know that was Tabitha Smith. On his route, investigators believe Deputy Leonard missed his turn and ended up driving his patrol vehicle with Smith handcuffed in the back off the Blythe Ferry Lane boat ramp and into the Tennessee River. Nose in, but upside down, wheels up, so engine toward the bottom. We knew that the trunk had come open as what happens on the impact. The air compresses and quickly moves towards the back and the, and the trunk blows open. Just before 1030 Wednesday night, dispatchers heard through his radio communication something along the lines of water. The signal was too weak to understand anything else. Dispatch couldn't tell what what he was saying or what he had said and it took a while and some anal some analytics to go into play uh, for us to, to see what was being or try to understand what was being said and we think he was saying water. At the very same time, he was also texting his wife. It's my understanding he sent a, a one-word text that said arrest. The deputy's patrol car was pulled from the Tennessee River around noon Thursday. Investigators found the body of Tabitha Smith covered in mud. The, the body's there. It's just covered up with mud. We came on up here. They're in the process of trying to remove that to make sure it is her and, and then try to make an identification. But Leonard's driver window was rolled down and he was not inside. The search continued throughout the day until Leonard's body was recovered around 6.30 Thursday evening. The Knox County Regional Forensic Center identified Smith's body Friday evening after hours of removing mud from the woman. Now the question of whether Blythe Ferry Lane is safe enough for people to be traveling on, especially if they are unfamiliar with the area. The one that goes off, they don't know the roads. And they come in here too fast, and the next thing you know, they're in the river.